Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Kuja the Paragon. Today we're going to talk about Season 3 Va weapon changes. We're not going to talk specifically about Va, we're just talking about the weapons that she's carrying and what are the changes to that weapon for her and what they're doing. So again, bear with me if you're a previous subscriber and a previous viewer and you're wondering why I'm still going over some of the same weapons. This is for people that haven't watched the channel and people that don't watch my videos. They may be coming in trying to learn things about the weapons or the character that's getting the what weapon changes are having to that specific character so I'm just going over with you for that so just bear with me guys <clears throat> so we're just gonna hop right into it we're gonna talk about the pistols so we're gonna start with the executioner because that's what Vi carries and when it gets a level 2 upgrade it's gonna be suppressing firing suppresses firing and reduces reticle bloom um, again I feel like all the pistols right now are kind of like in their in a good spot I don't feel like they need too much of adjustments or too crazy of a feat that's happened because with this new update some things have been made and the, the changes are not too bad. Um, the only downfall to the whole pistol changes is the fact that Demolition, uh, King of the Hill, and Team Deathmatch, you are already getting your main weapon right out of the gate. So there really isn't a point of having pistols anymore because most likely in the rounds you're going to kill somebody, drop your pistol, and pick up their, their weapon. So again, it kind of just makes pistols kind of relevant at the moment, kind of like no point in having them. But again, in those little tight situations when you're just having to use a pistol because you run out of bullets, it, again, the chances are you're either dead or you, you killed the opponent. It's one or the other. I just don't see pistols being anything. Until they find a way to revert pistol rounds back into the game, I just don't see pistols being even essential. So now we're going to go ahead and talk about the assault rifles. We're going to go ahead and talk about the nightshade. And the Nightshade is already a really nice assault rifle. It already does a hell of good damage. It's amazing and close to medium range combats. Um, it, the, the long range is where it falls short because, you know, the damage fall off and stuff like that. But however, again, this is probably one of the best assault rifles in the game, I feel. Because, again, you just get in that medium and close range with those weapons and it's just devastating. Um, so there's not a lot of upgrades on it, however it did get one, and we're going to go over that. The level 2 upgrade, it further increases hip fire accuracy and reduces reticle bloom. Um, I already felt like that the gun itself didn't even have a reticle, um, or even a bloom. I just feel like, like wherever you point it, that's where it's going to shoot. So the fact that it's even getting this is kind of odd to me, just because I already, again, I already feel that I don't even have to like pull my joystick down or even like hardly turn it. Like Wherever I point it, that's just where it's going to shoot. So again, it's it's. I mean, when it comes down to the hip fire accuracy, that's fine. It can use that because I mean, you're not always aiming down sight. You have close quarter matches where you're clearly on hip fire, and you depend on the hip fire to win your fights. So yes, I do feel it needs that. However, again, the the reduced reticle bloom, I just I didn't see that being needed. Um, <clears throat> so. I mean, that's how I feel about it. Anyway, the nightshade is already an amazing weapon. I didn't feel it needed anything else for it. All right, so. We're going to talk about Vi's last weapon, which is her shotgun, and it's going to be the SKL-6. Um, and see, out of all the shotguns that got buffed and got all the, got put onto these pedestals, like the Striker's on its own little pedestal, the S-12 Tactical is on its own little pedestal of like devastating shotguns right now. And I just feel the SKL, out of all the shotguns in Season 3, this was the one that needed the most upgrades, and it got the least. And this, this is why, okay? When you're going, when you compare it up to a Striker 810 and the SKL, yes, they're both pretty much shoot to trigger. As long as you're able to pull the trigger, you can shoot it. Um, however, when you put up a comparison to medium to short range, Striker just hits way harder. You're almost going to two tap everybody every time with a Striker. And with this KL6, it's kind of like you're, it's, it sometimes it's a two tap, sometimes it's a four tap. Sometimes it's the whole magazine. It, it's just it's a it's so random with the shots that you can't really depend on it unless you're barrel stuffing them. You're putting your shotgun straight in their gut and you're pulling the trigger. It's really the only way that the SKL6 is really going to be super effective. All right, so we're going to talk about its upgrades. It only got one upgrade, and again, I can't believe it. I feel like it needed more. So level three upgrade increases fire rate to 0 0.4. I don't remember its previous fire rate. I think it was like point like three five point three six. It was weird. It was a weird number. It was I mean it wasn't a good one. So yes, it did need a fire rate increase, sure. 
But again, I, I feel like it needed. Like I feel like the damage increase that the striker got from 64 to 72, they should have like just done that to the SKL6. I don't know what who's playing the SKL6 and is just straight up shredding people for them to be like, we don't need to upgrade this gun. But I'm telling you right now, out of all the shotguns, that was the one that needed it. The fucking S12 didn't need it. The striker 810 didn't need it. But here we are, and now we got the SKL-06 that's still underperforming in shotguns. So overall, guys, um, the weapon changes for Vi, I feel, are really... Uh, I get the executioner is kind of pointless again. However, Vi's hybrid, her night shade is awesome. I still love it, uh, and no matter what, every time I use it, I feel like I do really well with it. And then her SKL-6 needs a lot of upgrades. I feel like when it comes down to the shotguns, this is just the least... Of the shotguns like you if you pick it you're risking it like you really are so again guys tell me what y'all think do y'all think the SKL 6 is a superb shotgun and I don't know what I'm talking about do you think the night shade is it very much so one of the best assault rifles in the game and do you think pistol rounds are relevant or irrelevant tell me in the comment sections down below guys if y'all been enjoying my video so far please be sure to like the video and if y'all want to help me out please be sure to subscribe if you want to ask any questions or want to know anything about me you can see me on my Facebook with Kuja the Paragon and on my discord and yeah guys I will see y'all in the next video Peace out. into my own.
Never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable you're